Hi guys, welcome to the video and today I will be creating a custom text view to show text color in gradient form. So let's get started with the video. I have created an empty project with the main activity and the XML file for it. So for this we have to create our custom text view. So let's just start by creating an empty Kotlin file for that and I'll name it my gradient text view. And this text view will obviously <coughs> extend the base text view class. And now, as we have impl imp extended this one, we have to we have to have few override functions and constructor. So let's m let me just copy and paste those here. And also, we'll be overriding a function called on layout change. This one. <coughs> so this function gets triggered whenever the layout change. So here we have to write the code for the gradient color. So we have to write our code in the if condition on layout change. So if it is change, then we have to create a <coughs> paint uh, we have to create a shader for paint so i'll show you how is that how that will be done this equals to linear gradient we'll be using linear gradient and what is this what will this function do so let me open the documentation for that we'll be using this fourth third function this one <coughs> So it accepts these parameters, uh, the starting value of the x and y value of the view and the ending value of the view and two colors obviously and the last one is the mode of gradient, tile mode. So let me just quickly explain you this function in paint. So for example, let me create a graph like x and y axis, this represent width of the view and this represent height of the view so this parameter of float x0 means x0 and y0 means 0 comma 0 here and this flow x1 and y1 rep and this uh, x1 and y1 represent the ending of our view like for example it, if our text view is here then this will be x1 and y1 so it will paint the gradient here inside this view <laughs> and so let's add the parameters here so obviously it will start from 0 0 x and 0 y and the width will give full of the view which will be width <coughs> dot to float as you accept the parameter in float and height to float and colors will give like this oops I forgot to add the comma context compact and get color <coughs> we'll have the context because we are in extending text view and then we'll pass the color like r dot color dot primary color and and the second color will be same line and will pass context sorry accent color and the last parameter is the mode of uh, tile mode shader dot tile mode dot we have three to four three values here clamp mirror and repeat so i'll be using clamp for the demo purpose you can play around with the other two modes and now we have to use this my my gradient text view in our text xml file so just quickly replace this with my and i'll change this to linear layout orientation i'll keep as vertical let me give me a margin of 10 
and let's increase the text size from 30 SP and we don't need this as we are using linear layout so let me give IDs for these views one one two and three so now we have the view and we have the tech we have the text views and we have a custom gradient view so i've hard coded the colors here so let's just run and see how it will look i have connected my physical device to the to android studio and to mirror the screen i'll be using a software called scrappy it's an open source project available on github Let me just hide the. This. Yeah, so we have our three text views, and you can see the gradient. It's from left to right, as we have used the linear gradient version. So we have hard coded the colors here. So we can also do this while runtime. So let's just create a function to pass the colors here. Fun set colors and it will accept two colors <coughs> primary color one of in integer type and secondary color we don't need this this is this will be our integer type as well and let's create global variables to hold this color secondary color and whenever we receive the colors we'll just set them in this function this dot primary color equals to primary dot secondary color equals to secondary and we'll just replace this hard coded colors with primary and secondary why is this giving error okay i've used var instead of var so we are ready with this now we have to use this function in our main activity so we have to <coughs> initialize our text gradient text views here so let me just quickly do that as we are kotlin we don't need to use the function called our uh, find view by id so i'll just do it directly as we have we give the ids like one two and three so sorry one dot set color and as well as two and three i'll add few colors in colors xml file color 1 color 2 and color 3 and change the colors to uh, red and maybe blue just to and third color will be green RGB <laughs> and now set the colors like this here R dot remember remember that first parameter is primary and second is secondary one and r dot color dot two and r dot color dot two r dot color dot three r dot color dot it's color dot three r dot color dot one so if i run the application it should probably show me the gradient in this color so let's just try it out yeah 
Yep. Is it or is it not? Yep, it is. So red color goes to blue and then blue became green, green became red again. So this is how you this is how you can put the gradient to the text view. So that's it from this video. Thank you for watching. Until till the next one. Goodbye. I will leaving a link to in the description to this project yeah, for of my GitHub repository. You can clone and play around with the gradient text view and the colors, and use this in your project maybe. So yeah, that's it. Goodbye.